sein. Thank you so much for coming here to Reshmi underscore beauty around the world. My name is Reshmi and I welcome you here, especially my long-term subscribers and subscribers in general. Thank you, thank you so much for your ongoing support. If you haven't been subscribed yet to my channel, please do so, so you don't miss out another video. I also wanted to wish you beautiful Thanksgiving and holiday time this week. I think I'm I will be able to upload this video hopefully on Tuesday and I wanted to wish you a happy happy Thanksgiving and a good time with your families and friends and um, yes here we are today we are doing today a bag video and we are looking at this bag this is the Dooney and Burke Stanwich Satchel guys here I am I brought the satchel forward and I wanted to go and look with you closer up with you guys the reason I got, I have a video of this an old video I will link it up here you will see also mod shots and everything there I won't do mod shots today I will link them up here I will give you in this video we will do a what's in my bag a review I will give you some charm options and say a few words and at the end we will weigh this bag. We will weigh this bag one time full and one time empty because the Dooney and Burke satchels are known to be heavy and they are heavy. There is no way around it. The empty per website weighs 2.10 ounces, 2 pound m 10 ounces. And we will see if that's true or not today. If it's empty and full, it definitely say 3.5 to 4 pounds. So this is the Stanwich satchel. And the reason I got her out is that I was about to buy from the I Love Dooney website, the large, they don't call it large anymore. I think they call it medium now, the medium tomorrow brown satchel. And then I realized I should go and shop my closet because I have the tomorrow brown, sorry for this nail. I just went last week. I have my natural nails. I just put gel polish on and usually it lasts three weeks. And I just went last week and this came off already, the nail polish. You can see this is my natural nail under. Um, I have to go back and tell her to redo this one. So um, I'm sorry for that. So um, I decided, no, let me shop my closet. No, Dooney has amazing sale right now. Look Black Friday if you are looking for a Dooney bag. The large slash now so-called medium satchel, the big one, the biggest one they have, was 173 USD. And then Rakuten has always 3.5% uh, off on I Love Dooney. And um, that day it had 10% off. So it was very tempting to buy and it cost me some restraint not to buy. So I went and shot my closet, got my little Dooney duck out here and this bag. And I'm so glad I did this because I packed it up with everything that I had in the Longchamp bag before. I linked that uh, what's in my bag from the Longchamp Le Cuir here. I had everything from that bag. I transferred it to this bag and this is so heavy now. And I was thinking, okay, good that I didn't buy the large satchel because um, this is already very heavy. And um, they also have right now um the medium size satchel not the sandwich satchel the regular satchel in tomorrow brown and i think this is the most perfect fall winter color and um i will link them below if they are still available if they are not available you can go on the i love dooney website put on the search field florentine and they all come up and they do reappear 
My Rakuten link, if you are not a member of Rakuten, is always in my description box since years. I always use it when I shop at regular stores like Bloomingdale's, Neiman's, Saks, Macy's, wherever I shop. Ever, at anywhere, even at Samsung, when I bought my fridge, I got like $250 through Rakuten back. And you just sign up, they put you on the website, you, find, you search the website, they find you the website, and you use the website as usual and check out, and you will get cash back. I love that site, I always use it, the link is in the description box. So... When I buy Dooney or I love Dooney, I always use Rakuten and they sometimes have, usually they always have 3.5, sometimes they have 10%. So this is the sandwich satchel in Tomorrow Brown and we are going down now, we are weighing this bag full, we are doing a what's in my bag, we will weigh the bag empty and then we'll see each other. You guys, isn't she so pretty? Isn't that a pretty bag? It is, right? I'm clipping my hair up because it's getting warm here and I'm wearing this super warm sweater also, so I clip my hair up now. Here, the sandwich satchel. Here's my scale. And I have it in grams. Let me change it to ounces and pounds so this is the full one. Oh wow four pounds and 12.4 ounces that's that's heavy four pounds and 12.4 ounces yep accurate four pounds 12.4 ounces now we are looking how i set up the bag and then we are going to um, weigh the empty bag and this bag i really wanted a smooth florentine bag as you can see it is not that smooth it has structure but I still think it looks nice. It was it was sealed for two years in my cupboard. It was I never even unwrapped it. And uh, now I decided to do that before buying a new one. And I'm glad I did. It's really, really beautiful. And you don't have to be scared with this one at all, despite the fact that it's Florentine, that you get scratches. So let's see. Have the beautiful, I'm taking the duck off, I'll anyway show you later my favorite charms for this bag. So, it has the thick and white leather, suede leather lining in the green. To me this looks so Christmassy, so Christmassy. I think this bag looks so nice when you wear Christmas clothes like flannels, uh, tartan print and so on it's definitely a fall winter bag for me so I have my scarf here and then you can see bird perspective what I have in this bag oh I was looking for my headphones today morning so here everything that was in my lotion bag is in here too and I'm showing you now quickly what my whole never full pouch is in here i hope i don't forget at the end to um, wear it. this slip pocket here has the dooney tags the yellow dooney paper eyeglass wipes the elf lip gloss which is supposed to be the dupe for the dior lip gloss i don't waste so much money anymore into lip products like i used to do when i was younger my headphones then my longchamp coin purse uh, tissues i always have a lint roller with me 
then my mini pochette and I did put my Louis Vuitton SLGs in here because they are the lightest and as we saw the bag is anyway very full my um, Indian jewelry thingy which works as a little catch-all candy, lip balm, lip gloss, paper towel and so on tissue paper and then here I love that Dooney has the organization pockets chewing gum lip gloss tea hair clip Cartier parfum and my Cartier screwdriver for my love bracelet and now the bag is empty and we are weighing again the bag empty it's one pound 12 ounces i think what i said the two pound 11 or 10 is for the small satchel this one is one pound one pound 12.7 ounces you see one pound 11 one 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 pound 10.9 ounces let's let's say one pound 11 ounces this bag empty not too bad not too bad if you don't fill it up too much it's okay so i'm packing it back up because i'm using this bag right now not for long museum visits or something but for my errands i'm running now before thanksgiving put the never full pouch in now i'm putting my mini pochette in then i'm putting my catch oil in Like so. This goes back. First the paperwork goes back into the zippered pocket. Putting the tea in there too. The chewing gum. The napkins right here in the front. My long short coin first goes in here next to the mini pochette. The screwdriver goes back here, the glasses wipes go back here, my pots, headphone pots go here into the slip pocket, my lip balm goes here, I don't zipper this up, I just leave it open, my lint roller goes here too, the lip gloss, the hair clip and the perfume go in the slip pocket. And that's it. And I love that Juni still has the key leashes here. It's very convenient because I am notorious to lose my keys in my bag. Putting the scarf back in. So. And now I'm showing you my favorite charms to wear with this bag. Number one is the Dooney Duck. You saw that at the beginning. Like so. Super cute. I was looking for this. If it's still available. Couldn't find it on the Dooney website. On the I Love Dooney website. And also not on eBay. And I saw it on Poshmark for ridiculous prices. So... If it comes up on Dooney or I love Dooney again, I would grab a few to give them and all because they are very heavy and very well made. I love this Dooney duck. Super cute in my opinion. And if I compare these with my Louis Vuitton charms, these are short of nothing. So then I have here a coach charm which I would like with this bag. 
like this. These are all older charms, but Coach always has these kind of charms. And then lastly, my favorite one for this bag, which I will put on Thanksgiving most likely, is this Amazon Macaron Charm in the dark chocolate color. Don't tell me the charm doesn't fit in this one, but it will fit here. Okay. Super cute, isn't it? With the dark chocolate bag and the dark chocolate charm, the dark chocolate macaron. Beautiful. So you guys, I'm ready here now with my bag to run some errands and i hope you like this little video bag and review i usually double strap and wear it like this over my shoulder and um friday we will be looking at the love huggies and the mini clash earrings i will do a comparison because i was asked now so much many times to do that comparison so i moved it up the list and i will do that now next uh, friday and i hope you will be here after thanksgiving we all ate nicely hopefully and friday we can relax on the sofa Come to Rashmi underscore beauty around the world and enjoy a video. Bye.